Hey guys, welcome to another episode, another week and another plugin that I want to share with all of you that hopefully will make your life a little bit easier. So for this week, I have a plugin that makes creating an image sequence in Maya much easier. So your problems will be sorted, no more messing about with creating image sequences and having to create an image plane up manually and all that stuff. This tool does everything for you with a click of a button, it's magical, it's awesome, and I'm gonna show it to you now. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. So one of the main questions that I get asked in my personal mentorship classes, you know, go and check it out if you haven't so far on iAnimate is how do I go about creating an image sequence in the process and all that stuff. And this is something that has been in Maya from the very beginning. And I remember doing it way back then. And when it first was added years and years ago was a massive lifesaver. This process hasn't changed very much over the years. It's kind of cumbersome. You have to create an image sequence and you have to create an image plane. Sometimes you can use video, sometimes you can't. It makes your uh, scene heavy. There's all kinds of different spinning plates in this, um, in, this, in, this, in this process. And it's really difficult to kind of like uh, do it even for myself as I do it every so often so every time I have to do it years go by and then I'm like how do I do it again so thankfully now we have a plugin that automates this process now and the plugin is by Jamie Florian and thanks so much to Jamie for creating this thing because this is free so go and make sure that you show your love to Jamie because this plugin is absolutely a must for any anybody out there that is looking to actually kind of like work with reference but I'm pretty sure you want to see how it works instead of me just yapping about so Let's jump on the computer and I'll let me show you how it works. Let's do it. All right, so here we are. When you actually install this plugin, make sure I'll leave a link down below to make sure that you guys can install it. It's free, so make sure, as I mentioned before, you give a shout out to Jamie because he has done an absolutely brilliant job with this. Uh, basically, what you need to do is install the plugin just like you would install any script, go into your Ashley Maya script folder, import your script. Once you do, you source it, you call it, and then you get this. Just make sure that you create a shelf button like I did here that contains the script so you can call it easy and is on your shelves for future use. Now, this plugin is actually quite straightforward. Not much to showcase really on this one, but if you have done an image plane with reference, with a video and all that stuff, most likely all of this is gonna look familiar. If you haven't, good on you. You're going to make your life so much easier from now on for with this plugin. You don't know how much pain we've endured through the years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the plugin is self-explanatory. Um, you have a video file that you want to actually reference. Uh, in this case, I have here my my video that I have as a reference, something that I was actually kind of like, you know, running around my garden the other day. And as you can see, you can actually have the, automatically the uh, length of the video. But this is how it should look by default. Now, uh, you have to name your sequence, anything that you like. So uh, in this case, I am going to uh, name it running around. Um, you then have to decide what kind of uh, file extension do you want, meaning um, do you want JPEGs or do you want PNGs? I normally go for PNGs, but you can also, also go for JPEGs. JPEGs have a little bit more compression, but you lose a little bit of quality on JPEGs. And then you have to choose where you want to actually output your file. So I'm going to uh, create this folder here, final. I'm gonna select that folder. So now the path is now there. Something really interesting here is that you have to uh, enter what kind of frame rate does, uh, does your file or your uh, scene is at. So uh, for me, I normally work at 30 frames per second because I'm in games, but if you're in film, uh, VFX, most likely 24. So by default is at 24. I'm gonna leave it at 24 for now because there's no need to change it now, but just to keep in mind that if you are working on a scene that you need to reference and it's at 30 frames per second, change it. And then what you're going to actually get here is uh, make sure you take this create image plane as it will create the image plane at 000. Now, when you click uh, create image sequence, what will happen, and I'm just gonna like bring my folder that I have with reference here. Yeah, so you can see it right there. So you saw I have my folder, right, where I actually source my video, and then I created a final folder. And in this final folder, the plugin will spit out 
a uh, image sequence of your video. This is how you normally import videos into your plane. So this will make makes everything easier. So I'm just going to make sure that both windows are open. I'm going to create create image sequence. Uh, you will see uh, a little um, window with some code kind of digging through your your file. But what you'll see as a final result is basically image an image sequence that it will actually go through your whole sequence. And what that will do is actually create this little guy right here, you can play it, and you can see it, and it plays at 24 frames per second. And is in your scene now. So you can obviously move it around to whatever you want to actually move it. If you actually want to move it to another place, you can shrink it, you can actually make it bigger, smaller, all of that goodness, which is an amazing thing. A very simple plugin, yet very powerful plugin that you should most definitely check out because this is actually incredibly powerful. And I think everyone would should have this in their shelves for use whenever necessary. So massive shout out to Jamie for creating this for us for creating it for free, go and get it uh, and drop a comment down below if you actually are enjoying it or you feel like using it. And uh, if you feel like thanking Jamie, also comment down below, hopefully Jamie will get to see these comments um, as we go through. And that's all I had for you guys. I cannot go away without actually thanking my Patreons, everybody that's been supporting me. If you would like to support me, make sure to head to Patreon and also make sure to join our Discord. We have a lot of fun talking about animation and also a lot of these plugins that I'm actually sharing with you guys, they're gonna be over there in my Patreon because people are sharing a lot of goodness just like this one. So that's all I had for you guys. I hope you guys uh, have a great rest of the week and until then, stay well, stay safe. Peace.